Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 50. Oh, what a day can bring. So check this out, right? That's Ted Nugent's signature. So I went today to go work on my stockpile of cigar box guitars. That's how the day started. I was just kicking it with the family. And I said, I'm gonna run over there to my shop and go see if they have any interesting cigar boxes. So I went in and I got my, I talked to my dude, Jesse, got my stack and he was talking to this gentleman smoking a nice cigar. We were yucking it up and it turns out the person that he was yucking it up with was the owner. So I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> yeah. Justin, the owner of the place where I get my cigar boxes from. I've been getting, I've built probably about a hundred boxes now. And I've gone in there and I've met a couple other different people in there and they've all been kind and they've all been cool. And we've established you know, I'd call it a friendship and I've never met the owner. Anyways, what, oh, what a day can bring. Dude, the manager gave me some excellent ideas for marketing, i.e. these boxes that I'm using. I need to start shouting out the people who own these places because some of these guys who run these cigar box companies are artists, they're musicians. This is the one I'm gonna work on tonight. I'm gonna to put, I, I need to put a couple things on here. I need to put an internal spring for reverb, and I need to prepare the headstock for putting my hot sauce bottle on there, and then attach the leather armrest. But I'll probably do all that. But look at this one, that came out cool. That's an Adobe, Adobe, Adobo Chipotle can. Look, now this internal guts is about, a, is about a hot mess right now because I just soldered it last night. But look at that. I'm talking, boom. See, I can't find the right light for that. It's almost midnight again. Anyways, that's about a hot mess right now. I gotta get it in there and get it all cleaned up. But the point of this video tonight, this quick update is Got the new phone. Hopefully it's got more memory. I'm gonna cut my bottle tonight, my, my slide bottle with this. I'm out of hot sauce bottle, so I'm literally buying this now. <laughs> and <clears throat> I'm going in my refrigerator. I'm actually buying this now and just dumping it in here. This is smoky chipotle pepper sauce. I'm not gonna throw it away, no way. But I need the bottles. This is the nice one I like. It's the, it's the right length. And it's the right, anyways, I got two of them because inevitably one of them breaks. I don't have that part mastered just yet. But anyways, met Justin, the owner of La Chavetta, which I believe, if memory serves me well, Jesse told me that this is the, is the blade that they use to cut the tobacco. The backy. Anyways, shout out to Justin, my dude. I've built a bunch of boxes. All of this has been because of my neighbor, local business. Then I came back from that. He gave me some good information about the Instagram and about the YouTube and the connecting in with these cigar box builders. I mean, I'm sorry, cigar box, cigar the manufacturers. I was hyped about that. Got a bunch of cool boxes. Then I came home <laughs> and I got a box in the mail. Go boom. And guess who this is from? Uncle Ted. Uh-huh. 
Let me tell you something, old son. Ted Nugent for president, okay? What? Oh, I know. I've already this. We've already discussed this in my first video. I know. I already know what you're going to say. I know, dude. Yeah, I remember. Check out my very first video. Well, my second video. Rusty press conference where I discussed that we're not trying to get into all this on this station. I get it. So listen, everything that I want to say. <laughs> Uncle Ted's spitting it right now on Nuge fire. He and Uncle Ted wants us to remind everybody that it's Nuge and not Nug. <laughs> but yo, anyways, I'm being silly. But look, Ted Nugent signed that, yo. I got two of these. You want to know why? Because my heart's big. My heart is big in this time. I got two of these. One for my dude. Hopefully he won't watch this video because it's coming to you, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I got two of these, yo. They were out of stock for a while, so I was all typing away, black, 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 black. I'm still waiting for the extra large um, Ted Nugent for president <laughs> t-shirts. So, yeah, what a day. Ted Nugent, YouTube, his wife, Shemaine, her channel, her stuff, hyped. Oh, what a day can bring. Now, I've encouraged myself not to continue making these epic 30 minute long, 40 minute long videos. I just can't help myself. As Del Puckett has pointed out, we are cigar box guitar enthusiasts. So well, how much time are we working with? Let's see if I can get this spring installed in a few minutes. All right. And Dustin, you watching my videos down there in Texas? Look. I got tex the Texas flag up here from Wild Mike. Go check out my Texas two plate videos. Wild Mike, his and hers guitars from Texas. My dude Dustin Fretboard, Just Intonation Fretboard, Texas. Dusty Hill, God rest his soul. From that little band in Texas. Ted Nugent has got his other house in Texas because of because of the shenanigans going on in Michigan. Huh. But yeah, we're not gonna get into all of that here in the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, Bray. All right, look. Make this a quick 10 minute video, all right, look. He's gonna stretch out here. So I got a hole right here. I don't think anything interesting is going down here be beneath this hole. See right there, this hole? I think I drilled that hole to find out where my center was, or that pickup. So I'm gonna put a spring in there. <laughs> Let me get this camera shot. I'm about to keep you right here. I'm gonna give you the hawk's eye view. I gotta do this quick. I'm shooting this in, um, what, 4K? So what does that gobble up my gobbles up my CPU, my GF9, my 5G. I love the 5G, bro. I look forward to it. Oh, no, I got a screw in there. That's the screw that's... The screw that I just hit is the one holding this little plate right here, this wooden plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spring... No, there's nothing in this hole. I think I drilled this hole right here to run this wire through for the piezo. Did I have, I had this piezo nestled beneath this. Beneath here. I haven't even given this a sound check yet. All I want to do in this video right here was quickly install the spring. All right, let's see if we can do this real quick. Real quick like. So this is, oh, I should put it on the side now, I can't. All right, I'm gonna put him like this. I'm gonna put one here. All right, I'm gonna put one here and here. All right, keep this simple. One right here. And then one right here. 
you can double check this spring. Isn't that, that would suck if you put your screw in there and you can't reach all the way over there and get it. All right, one right here. You better be careful with this drill. <laughs> you drill all the way through here and you go all the way through the top of your box. Oh, you're going to be cussing like your Sam and Sam. All right. Five more minutes. Can I do it? I wanted to do it in 10 minutes, but. All right. Did I mention how much I love this, this DeWalt drill right here? Did I mention that? It's not braggadocious, bro. I'm saying that I'm hyped about it. All right. Pre-drill that hole. Pre-drill this hole over here. He's not gonna bump in, in he's not going to bump into anything. See, I get yapping real fast. I gotta tell myself to go slow and low. That means even in my yapping. All right. Down here like yet. And then I kick his spring right here. And I pull him over here like this. Bam, spring installed. Oh, what a day can bring. Now, what I'm, what I'm gonna do now is, you saw me how I installed it, just a screw here, pre-drilled this hole with this, because this wood right here is so hard, I don't wanna split it, and these go in easier when you just kinda pre-drill them. And these <clears throat> drywall screws are just made out of, I don't know, some kind of super metal. I trust them. But what I'm gonna do is pull this off here now, off camera, and I'm gonna, mess with all of this wire madness here in the midnight hours so i'm going to do wire wire cable management some might get put this here like this and then if this spring doesn't have enough tension that's good see it's installed i need to re-vacuum this out here You hear that? Do an amp that's gonna be retar that's gonna be awesome. Okay. Oh, what a day can bring. I got a lot more stuff to do here tonight, but I don't want to bore you. Eating up my CPU, bro. I'm trying to shoot this stuff in four. Listen, I gotta listen, the hot sauce guitar kitchen's gotta raise his game from 720 to 1080. 30 frames per second. I gotta raise my game to 4K, bro. I'm not gonna do four, 5G. I don't know if you can shoot in 5G. They're gonna shoot 5, 5G through your brain soon, but did I say that out loud? Let me tell you something. You see this mask right here? You gotta watch my very first video, Mask Triggers, Cigar Boss Guitar, Mask Triggers Music, because guess what? Thanks Uncle Ted for my signed hat. One for me. One from my buddy. Well, guess what else I got too, bro? If you're watching my channel and you dig it, I'm gonna be installing this. But did I mention that the dude who runs this place right here today, oh, what a day can bring? He's given me an opportunity to bring my boxes to sell them at an event he's holding, bro. How exciting is that? I'm gonna bring some of these out. Yak it up, yap it up, blah, blah, blah. Look, Ted Nugent's, what does this thing here say? Look, this is Ted Nugent's, the real Homeland Security Chief. <laughs> Ted Nugent's crazy. <laughs> and then back here, look, it's a dude throwing his spear, bro. He ain't, like, he's a wild man. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to put, I'm gonna to try to incorporate this on a cigar box guitar. If you haven't seen my, any of my other videos, my dad is a Vietnam vet. Sharpshooter, Vietnam. And he is in his 70s now and he's going through dementia. So I know if you're a veteran out there, 
being the son of a vet, and, you know, it's not easy. It wasn't easy for them, and it wasn't easy for those that they came back to. But Ted Nugent, Ted Nugent for president. I'm not sure. Look, I think it's La Chavetta. La, is it La Chavetta? I'm going to have to call my dude up back, find out if I'm pronouncing his business right. Oh, what a day can bring. Work to do on this guitar. Blada, blada, blada. Episode 50, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. Just hype, man. It was a good day. Peace. <coughs> Woo! That was a good run. Uh, I ran all the way back home. Uh, I gotta work this belly off, bro. Whoo. Oh, 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 I'm asphalt. Oh, I gotta run. Oh, dude. There is nothing like going for a run with your mask. Because I'm not gonna get no nanoparticulate in my mouth, bro. <laughs> it's airborne, bro. And I'm not getting it in my mouth, you know.